Good afternoon, everybody. So today we are going to speak about the correction of the baccalaureate exam. And then we are going to see each section alone. So before we speak about the correction, let me try to give you some advice that you should take into consideration. First, concerning the comprehension text, you should read at least two times. Why? In order to understand it. And when you understand it, you can answer the questions appropriately. But if you just read once and you start to answer the questions, you will have problems and you will waste a lot of time. So, reading once, twice, or maybe three times is going to save you a lot of time when you start to answer the questions. Moreover, if I want to give my opinion about the text, I could say that it is quite easy, but I'm sure many students are going to find a lot of problems. Do you know why? simply because they don't have rich vocabulary. They don't have so much practice. And above all, they are not interested in improving their English level. Now, let me try to give you a short summary about the text in order to understand it. So the text revolves about a Swedish youngster called Greta Thunberg, who has achieved global recognition with the degradation of our environment. Thus, she participated on behalf of world youth in different and diverse international meetings so as to transmit her noble and honorable message, especially to the world leaders who are often according to her, who are often heedless, indifferent, and deep to save the planet. This planet, which is a precious human treasure. Okay, so this is a, a small uh, summary in order to understand the text that you have been examined on. Now, let's see each question by itself. The first question is, are these statements true or false? Justify. So please hear. You have two types of questions that you should answer. First, you should choose either true or false. And then you justify, you tell us why it is true and why it is false. Let me try to read number one, which is Greta was raised in an artistic family. So here it's true. What is the statement or the appropriate statement that proves that number one 
is true according to the text is the following her mother is an opera singer whereas her father is an actor this it matches well with artistic family because here we speak about her mother and her father do you, do you see number two the largest protest against climate change took place in Sweden this one it's false why because we know that she is Swedish youngster and she protested against climate change where well, in Sweden but there are different activities which are held outside Sweden do you see that's why the majority or uh, much of her protest is not just in Sweden but outside Sweden the appropriate and the convenient statement that proves that it is false is Greta had numerous meetings and opportunities in Poland in New York City and in Madrid three uh, what do we say places where she had uh, an opportunity to express herself vis-a-vis -vis this worldwide problem number three and Hidalgo had a positive attitude to Greta's speech. This one, it's true. Why? Here, the key word in this statement is a positive attitude. And it goes automatically with truly inspiring. Truly inspiring. To mean when we speak about inspiring, we speak about something positive. Okay, so this statement is for her, it is truly inspiring to see young people making their voices heard. So this is number one, the first question. The second question is answer the following questions, three points. I think most students can, underst can understand these questions and they can answer in, in a very, uh, what do we say, uh, good, good way. Why is Greta Thunberg from? Greta Thunberg is from Sweden. Because here we speak about the place, the country. Why did Greta skip classes? Which means the question, why did Greta did not attend? Most of the time she was absent. Greta skipped classes because she started protesting in front of the Swedish parliament. Number three, why was Greta nominated for the Nobel Prize, Peace Prize? Greta was nominated for the Nobel Prize Peace, for the Nobel Peace Prize, sorry, because she had made great efforts to make a difference about climate change. Uh, please, I want you to be careful here. When you want to answer these questions, do not to go out of the text. So your answers, they are in, in the text. So try to select the best and the most appropriate answers to, your, to the questions from the text. Number three. Complete the following sentences with information from the text. This is a question that shows whether you have understood the text or not. Social media contributed to what? To her rapid spread of her actions that influenced millions of young people around the world. Which means here that social media had a share in her, uh, what do we say, being recognized all over the world. In her being famous all over the world. But through what? 
through her actions, through her participations, through her activities. Number two, Greta criticized world leaders for their empty words and hollow promises. So empty and hollow, they are synonyms. Both of them, they are the same. For their indifference, they don't care. They are not interested to save the planet. So here, sometimes you may change the structure, you may change the words, but the meaning should remain the same. To prove to, your, to the examiner that you have understood the question. Number D, pick out from the text phrases or sentences which show that, here you have two points, Greta is not interested in becoming famous. How can I answer this question? Refer to the text and you are going to find a statement that is compatible to this statement that you have in front of you, which is, I don't care about being popular because popularity has to do with fame. When you become popular, you become famous. So I don't care about being popular. I care about climate justice and the living planet. This is her concern. This is her worry. This is her preoccupation. Greta schools, uh, Greta school strikes did not have any result. Yes, where can we find it? Automatically in the text. She realized the answer. She realized that her school strikes have not achieved anything. We move to E. Find the text words that mean almost the same as. So here we speak about synonyms. What I want to, to tell you concerning this question is that when you want to find an appropriate synonym, we don't have two words which are synonymous 100 percent, but they are most of the time partial. They are near to each other, which means that you cannot find them 100 percent, but there is something, there is a small difference between the two. So the word international, in paragraph number one, it has to do with worldwide. Number two, concern. It has to do with worry and degrading. You degrade someone, which means you lower his rank or her rank. It means here you collapse, you fall down. So, what I want to tell you here is that sometimes you may take a dictionary to explain and you cannot find that appropriate word that we find in the text. Why? We explain words according to their a placement in the text or in the sentence. Have you understood this? Okay, let's move. F. What do the underlined words in the text refer to? So I think it's clear and most of the students are going to have two marks. The teen activist. So teen, it comes from another word which is teenager. So teen has to do with youth. Youngsters. The teen activist refers to Greta Thunberg. And then in paragraph five, refers to word leaders. So I think that the comprehension section is over. I'm going to give you the grammar section in an hour's time after you see this and automatically I'm going to give you the second section related to grammar 
and we are going to correct it. And then I'm going to give you some samples concerning two samples concerning the questions or writing. The first question, which is task one, and the article, which is task two. So, goodbye, and see you next time. Hey, don't forget to like our page on Facebook and subscribe to our channel.